beautifuls. So today I am giving you guys a review on the Victoria's Secret cream what are they called? <laughs> I originally saw these on Instagram. A lot of the uh, Victoria's Secret fan pages that I follow bought them and were reviewing them. So I was like, huh, I want to try them too. And then I ended up seeing them when I went into Victoria's Secret. So I decided to pick some up and give them a try. For you. Uh, if you want to know what I think of these, if they are good or if they are crap or if they are worth the money, then just keep on watching and let's just get started. There are about five colors. I only have four here. There is another red color. I'm not sure what the name of it is but I will probably insert it here. Um, I will also link the uh, Victoria's Secrets website down below their beauty section because they are being sold online as well. So if you cannot get to the store and you really like them and you really want to try them, then you can go ahead there. The first that I picked up first was Perfection, which is actually the one I am wearing on my lips right now. This is Adored, which is just so, so pretty. I love how that looks. And I'm probably inserting swatches somewhere around here as well. Um, then there is Obsessed, which is kind of a red, but it's a little bit more of a pinky toned red. And then the last one that I have here is Drama, which is like this deep plum berry color. I think it was in my last video, I tried to mix these two together to get like a more pinky, purpley, like I'll try to get a much darker lip than things I want to say about these is that these are not matte lipsticks. They look matte, but they do not feel like matte lipsticks at all. They are basically kind of regular lipsticks in a sense, but they give off that matte look. Kind of like the Maybelline matte lipsticks that I love so much. Like they feel really creamy, it feels nice, but they look matte, but they do but they do not dry matte. They don't really dry out your lips. At least for me, they don't really dry out my lips. Um, it does last a very long time. I have worn one of these to class before and it lasted pretty much the whole time, but then again, I was drinking water on my water bottle, so it does kind of come off over time, so that is something to be aware of. The other thing that I want to talk about is the packaging. Now, of course, they look like lip glosses. I'm not a fan of their Beauty Rush lip glosses. or they, I don't know. For some reason, I bought a couple a few years ago, and they were just absolutely terrible, and they made my lips feel like they were burning. It was weird. The packaging is reflects the color that's inside the tube, except for this one, darker than what's what the tube color is. You guys can see that the color is kind of like really, really pale and then the uh, color is not so much. It's just a little bit darker. As well as, I think it was Drama. Also looks like it could be like this like mauvey brown plum sort of color, but then like you take it out and it looks a lot redder. So it's a little bit deceiving, but it's around like the color area. Perfection. You match the tube color to a T while these don't. When I applied these, it had a very mousse-like texture. It was very, um, almost like the, uh, the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks, which I've talked about and I do like those a lot. Um, it kind of had that same sort of texture to them, but it was very easy to blend it out on your lips and the applicator makes it really easy to just get all up in there and apply. The other thing that I will say is that these do dry down a little bit. They don't dry down like a matte lipstick, but they do, you know, kind of set over time. Um, if you keep like applying coats and coats and coats and coats over and over and over again in one sitting, it's not going to dry, number one, that well. It's it's not going to give you that dried effect. I feel like you have a hundred layers of like lip product on your lips because that's actually how I feel right now that I did that. Meh. Yeah. And even when I did mix um, Obsessed and Drama in my last video for my lip color, like it just, it felt like, like it just, it felt really heavy and really like uncomfortable if that makes sense. So that is something that I'm not really liking that you can't really layer the colors if you wanted to. You can't really build the color up, which kind of sucks. I noticed with all the colors that they pretty much apply the same. There's not really any patchiness. It was still smooth application, you know, and dried, it lasted, whatever. But with Drama, I felt like this color was very, very patchy when I was applying it and I did have to keep going over and over and over it again. But oh my gosh, what the heck? Wow, why did that happen? It all just kind of came out on me. What the hell? Okay, so that's something else we can add to the review. It kind of comes out crazy. Um, but they do smell... They don't really have much of a scent to them, just kind of like a makeup smell. But again, this one, I just noticed it to be very patchy out of all of them and it took a little bit longer to apply it to my lips. Once it was applied it looked awesome. So I think I wore this actually in my October favorites as well. So uh, if you want to see how it looks there I will leave the video down below. Overall I have to say I actually really love these a lot. 
um, because I've been reaching for especially like the nude colors perfection and adored all month like I've just been constantly reaching for them not just because I've been testing them but because I'm like oh these colors are pretty I really like them a lot so uh, I honestly do recommend these I think they're great especially again if you do the buy two get two free deal so they are like seven bucks a piece which is awesome because normal liquid lipsticks are probably about the ones I pay for are like uh, 18 to 20 bucks. I'm not proud. I'm not that proud. I'm a little bit proud because I really like my liquid lipsticks. Don't like how regular liquid lipsticks feel on your lips. They dry out your lips. You hate the feeling of them. It's uncomfortable. Then these are a great alternative because they feel like a normal lipstick, but it's also giving you that matte look without having to dry out your lips. So I think these are awesome, actually. Again, there is one more color. I did not pick it up. It is a red color. I'm not sure the name of it, but again, I'll have all the info down below. So again, that is my little review on the Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte Cream Lip Stains. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them down below and I will answer them as quickly as I can. Um, I do think that these are actually really, really good. Usually with Victoria's Secret Beauty stuff or their Beauty Rush line, I'm just kind of like, eh, like I like their glasses, but I don't really like anything else. So I think that these are a great, great addition to their beauty line and I think that they're awesome as well. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, I love you guys so much. Hope you've been an awesome day. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. And uh, please excuse, again, my hair, the light, everything. You guys know how I do because I suck. Ah! And we're getting close to the end of the semester, so I'm especially lazy this week. It is my birthday week. I have the right to be lazy. Maybe not completely. I will see you guys in my next video.